so this is the image i'm in photoshop cc this is my base image so i have this source i will drag it to this image so i have already cropped it now right click on there go to smart object i want smart object so it maintains the quality of the image so that's why i always work try to work with the smart objects so i think uh, this is best position for this image so i want here for this horse so mm, that's fine this is my base image this is holes so firstly i will start to create with the smoke so make a new layer and it should be behind the holes layer so go to this brush tool i have this uh, brush for smoke something smoke i want so which color you want for your smoke so keep in mind press hold press hold press and hold this uh, alt on the keyboard and take a selection of this color we got it so this is the this is the color color of this sand so i want very uh, light color of this smoke uh, something like this i want this is the color you can check there so click on okay mm, this is the size of the brush then i'm using vacuum in vacuum i'm using this of st100 and flow 100 uh when you use this uh, vacuum then all tools can work better with the vacuum tablet this is a transfer i want and uh, pen pressure i want for this pst and flow pen pressure i want so it gives me very uh, it gives me a very realistic result if you press this very smooth and very effective way to create smoke okay that's fine These are the best position for the smoke. Control Z. Okay, you can see there. This is before and this is after. So, um, uh, this is my horse, and if you if you check the shadows. Mm, on this horse you will find the light is coming from the right top like this position so i want some some flare or something uh, something like sun and it gives the it gives the feel of this lighting so make a new layer and fill it with black x for exchange the color you can see there if you want to exchange press x on the keyboard and d4 d4 and uh, i want black color that's fine go to filter then render and then we have this lens flare i want this lens flare it is 105 mm prime and uh, uh you can okay that's fine i want this position of this sun because uh, i i want uh, this light source from the right top So that's why I'm uh, keeping this position on the right top. So click on OK and set its blend mode to screen. Now you see, you can see there. This is before and this is after. Even you can see the lens flares uh, looking very nice. Mm, this is before and this is after. Just with few clicks, we got it. That's really very nice. So make a new layer again, and uh, this time I will work on these shadows. Uh, I will create manual shadows. I will try to make manual shadows. Firstly, okay, that's fine. Okay, make it zoom. So firstly, make a mask on there. Hmm, this holes and uh, okay. Hmm, choose your brush. And this time, I want very hard brush because. something like this i want so that it gives the feel the uh this is 
in the sand okay this is i want so this is my layer for shadow and for shadow i want very smooth brush okay do something like this mm i want transfer and uh, i'm creating a manual shadow for this and later on you can make it blur uh if you're using vacuum then it is very easy to create the shadows otherwise with the mouse it is very difficult now you can see there before and after okay now make it blur go to filter then blur then goes in blur I think this is the right. This is black. I want more black. Okay. Now make a new layer and uh, again work on the shadows. Very smooth shadows. I want. Now see that this is before and this is after. It's looking very nice, and it gives the feel of realism. And uh, go to filter. Then I want to make it blur. Okay. Go to cancel and firstly make a new copy for this, and uh, go to filter, then blur, then we have this goes in blur. Okay. Again, I want to make it blur. Okay, blur. Okay. Now this is very smooth now. blur and uh, active this layer and uh, make a mask on there so that i can remove the this portion now see that this is before and this is after and uh, you can adjust the opacity fine now you can see there this is a base background this is smoke this is shadow okay this is hose now this is smoke and this is shadow and this is for sun flare so i want uh, mm, some more contrast under this image uh, go to adjustment layer then we have this gradient map i want black to white that's fine set its rendering mode to something overlay firstly try it this is before and this is after you can see there we are getting the very nice contrast under this image now it's like this mask i why why i want to remove the upper portion of this there 
now see that this is before and this is after very nice contrast we are getting that's fine then i have this uh, smoke i will use this smoke on the behind of this horse now set its position i want uh, this is fine and i want to match the color so go to color balance and uh, i want to clip this color balance to this layer i want effect the of this color balance only to this so press alt on the keyboard then drag your mouse in between these two layers then you will get a down arrow now click on this now mid tones i want i want to match the color now see that similarly with the highlights okay now see that before and after now reduce the opacity for this okay that's fine now again make a new copy control j control t and one more smoke i want and control j now see that before and after and one more smoke i want in front of hose control j drag it to in front of hose layer this is i want control t now again make make a copy for this color balance now see that before and after so this is my image for dust particle and uh, this is black particle and white background i will set its blending mode to multiply it's looking right now okay this is the position i want control j again it's like this press e to eliminate or okay that's fine now see there now control j again okay now active this make a new copy again control t to transform it okay this is something i want and uh, set its spending mode how best to 40 and uh, here is a tool okay that's fine now see that this is before and this is after just reduce the opacity before and after before and after it's like this layer go to filter i want sharpening for this particular mm. Okay. that's fine before and after now i will merge all these layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e mm -hmm. now go to filter then i have this camera on now i will do some adjustment with the lighting so this is my grad filter and apply that i want dark and uh, clarity I think uh, okay now see that mm.
so these are the settings i want uh, temperature plus okay mm, shadows 68 in plus and sharpness about 30 i want now click on okay now this is before and this is after and uh, make a new layer i think uh, some smoke i want in front of this holes mm. okay now see that before and after before and after now again merge all these layers now this time i will use nick software to get some extra lighting effects and color corrections this is my detail extractor so these are details I want. Mm, now I add filter, cross processing. This is my favorite one. Okay, that's fine. Now I add one more filter. This time I want contrast. now this is before and this is after we can reduce the opacity for this contrast from here now that's fine now click on ok so in this way you can create very realistic images with photoshop cc so thank you friends keep watching our inscription